Well, you don't have to be a motorcyclist to recognize the flames and that familiar logo, but a famous Worcester diner is being told that its tribute to Harley Davidson has to go. Thing is, the sign has been on the Miss Worcester diner for years, and no one seemed to mind. That was until someone took a photo of it, sent it to the motorcycle company. Now, as Nick Emmons explains, people in Worcester are rallying around the diner to try to keep that sign there. For decades, this old diner has served up countless meals to folks in Worcester. Yes, a letter. But this week, it was owner Kim Niskern getting served with a cease and desist letter. As I'm digesting what I'm reading, I'm thinking, I can't believe that this is happening right now. The issue is this Harley Davidson logo. About three years ago, Kim had it painted as a tribute to the motorcycle company she loves. I was trying to draw in a biker crowd. That was my goal. But Harley Davidson's goal is to protect its brand and the company wants it gone. I don't have the kind of money to fight Harley Davidson. And after I read the letter, I immediately texted um, Tony, the artist that did it. She got the letter. Yeah. She got the letter like a bomb. And it was just kind of like, it was disappointing. Mm -hmm. But it's a tribute to Harley because she loves running Harleys. Now the community is rallying to support the diner in this legal battle, hoping an online petition will sway the motorcycle company to let it ride. So far, more than 1,900 people have signed. Is there something that has to be written near it or around it so that we're not trying to cash in on your logo? Harley Davidson didn't immediately get back to us for comment. And while Kim weighs her options on what to do about the painting, she's been blown away by the response from friends, customers, and complete strangers. I am so humbled by all the love and support from just, you know, my community alone. Kim is optimistic she will be able to keep the Harley Davidson logo on her diner, but if she has to take it down, she feels like she's already won after seeing all the support she's gotten from the community. In Worcester, I'm Nick Emmons, WBC News.